All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to break your hand like this. Ah! If you're wondering, that's from a VFX video on my channel. You can go check it out after this, cause I don't get views. But back to the effect. This is from a video from about a year ago, so I'm just gonna recreate it, break it down, and show you how you can pull it off yourself. First step is to get the shot of your hand you want to break. Make sure you've got a clean plate for it too. Make a new composition in After Effects. Important note, you can see the sharpie dots on his hand. This is all to help us get a good track. A good track is very important for this effect. We're going to be tracking this in Mocha AE, which comes free with the current version of the Adobe Cloud. We're going to start with the center of his hand. Once you've got a good track, copy to clipboard and bring that data into After Effects and paste it to a null object. Now, to remove the tracking markers, I'll duplicate the hand layer, freeze frame it on a frame where the whole hand is in view, lower the opacity, and then drag it over so that the skin overlaps the tracking markers. Mask out those skin sections, feather, and then paste them to your hand track. With the middle finger, I'm going to cover those up with a wound. Here's one I found off of Google. I like the tendons in the original effect better, but I have no idea where that photo is, so we're going to go with this bone. Get a track of the middle finger, and again paste it to a new null object. Now reposition and mask the wound to get it lined up. I'm messing with the contrast, hue, and saturation and tint to make it blend a bit better. You can spend more time on it to make it look really good, but I don't care enough to do that, so we're moving on. Next, add an inner shadow to help give a little depth to the wound. Feather it out to get rid of the harsh edges and make sure it's linked to the middle finger track. Now, for the surrounding area, we want the skin to look a bit bruised, so first I'm going to make a new solid, color it purple, set the blending mode to hard light, and mask around the edges of the wound. Adjust the feathering and opacity to blend it in, then do the same with a red solid. Set this under the purple layer and make it a little bit bigger. The purple is supposed to be from the center of the impact where the bruising gets really dark, and then it fades out into this irritated red color. Boom! Finger wound. Next, for the broken pinky. You're going to want to bounce back and forth between the mesh warp and the puppet tool because you have no idea how either of them work, but you know you used one when you did the effect a year ago. Decide on the puppet tool and mess around with it for 15 minutes until you get frustrated and decide this looks good enough. Freeze frame it, mask out just the pinky, and then readjust it until it lines up with the original pinky and looks like it connects back to the hand. Get a track of the pinky and hook it on. Now, unless you want a janky double pinky thing going on, you're going to want to grab that clean plate I specifically told you to get at the start and you better not have forgotten. Place it over the original hand layer and mask out the original pinky so that it looks like it's just the one janky pinky connected to the hand. Repeat the same steps from before to remove the tracking markers, which again, I'm too lazy to do. Same goes for adding the bruising to the pinky in the center of the hand, just repeat the steps from before. In the original footage, you can see I busted up the fingernails, it's just the same technique I used for the wound on the middle finger. Next thing I did was to add in some camera lens blur to the pinky and finger wound layers to blend everything as the hand goes in and out of focus. Keyframe those to match your scene. One thing I did to the original was add camera lens blur over all the footage and then dial it down to zero as the hand comes into view. That can just help hide any imperfections you have in that initial movement. Make sure you have motion blur enabled for the finger wound and pinky and you're all set. It needs a little cleaning up, but that's just spending more time on each step to really make sure it looks nice and polish it. That's something you guys can do. I'm too lazy. Now you know how to break your hand in After Effects. If anyone watched this, you can let me know if there are any other effects you want to try, whether it's something new or something from one of the videos I've done before. If you haven't seen any of my videos, I'll link a uh, playlist at the end. You can go watch them. I don't know how to end this now, so I'm just going to abruptly cut to the end card. That seemed pretty good.